health insurance reform and what it means for our families is very much a women's issue. For two years on the campaign trail, this was what I heard from women, that they were being crushed, crushed uh, by the current structure of our health care. And this is still shocking to me. These are the kind of facts that still uh, wake me up at night, that women in this country have been denied coverage because of pre-existing conditions like having a C-section uh, or having had a baby. Um, in some states, it is still legal to deny a woman coverage because she's been the victim of domestic violence. In many states, insurance companies can still discriminate because of gender. A recent study showed that 25-year-old women are charged up to 45% more for insurance than 25-year-old men for the exact same coverage. Uh, and as the age goes up, you get to 40, that disparity increases to 48%. So it's not exactly surprising when we hear statistics uh, that more than half of women report putting off needed medical care simply because they can't afford it. You're fighting an illness. You shouldn't also have to be in the process of fighting the insurance companies at the same time. It's a basic idea. That's why reform is so critical in this country, not tomorrow, not in a few years, but right now. We want women to be able to care for their families and pursue things that they could never imagine then we have to reform the system. We have to reform the system. The status quo is unacceptable.